Hello, this is Christopher, and welcome to episode 16 of Putting the Baseball Card Collection, where I do just that, work on putting my baseball card collection together. Feel free to go ahead and crack open some packs, get rid of some, hey, security, get out of here, or work on your collection as well. If you have any, you know, sports cards or baseball cards, football cards, whatever, feel free to do whatever, because that's... That's what I used to do. I used to watch YouTube videos of folks opening up packs and stuff, and I used to crack open packs myself. But anyways, so in these episodes, I do that, and they're every two weeks. I'm not sure if it's called bi-weekly or semi-weekly. Semi-weekly, I guess. Every two weeks, so that, you know, it's because it's pretty long and stuff, and so I can fit in other, you know, box and pack openings in between, you know, when it would usually be. Anyway, so this is on Saturday because, of course, the big giveaway is tomorrow. All right. So I thought I'd start here with showing you how my my binders come. So I got a couple cases of binders here that I, I purchased from from the old blowout, blowout uh, cards or whatever. So it comes in a box of six. So... I used a couple out of this one already. It comes like, see, it comes like this. Tape like that, see? So I'll, I'll take one out and put it together so you can see what it looks like. Pretty cool. So I haven't shown shown you this before, except for back at the mail day. So I think see there's a few of them back in there yet. Come all packaged and ready to go. And I think it only costed 20 bucks for the big box of six of them. So it's pretty, pretty cool. Pretty, pretty good deal. So I'm gonna put this. Okay, so I got one out here. I'll just put, I'll just put this box to the side over here, so I don't have to, so I don't have to worry about going away from the camera and stuff. Okay, so here, here's what it looks like whenever you get it. Pretty neat. They're all individually packaged. Just take it, open up the package, and it comes with a couple different goodies too like for your collection so you take that off and see see all the stuff that's in there it has three exclusive Allen and Ginter tobacco cards um 10 nine pocket pages to get you to get you started you know so you don't have to buy some but I did buy a couple packs of pages because I knew I would need some I'm just about out of the first pack of 100 so <laughs> and then two 15 pocket pages which are the for the tobacco cards and then one tobacco card one touch insert and uh mag holders and everything all right so i don't want to tie up too much of this i'll just put that down there okay so here we go so here's what you get in it pretty neat so you get a three pack of tobacco card and in inserts uh for they're like one touches for tobacco cards or mini cards. Pretty neat. And then you get two one touches. One 55 points and one 35 points. Really nice. Come in handy. Haven't used it yet. I got to get going with using some one touches on the really nice, nice cards I have now. So there's that. And then here's the pages that you get. So you get... Two of these that are made for the mini cards see how it's minis and then you get these mini mini uh allen and ginters which are pretty much the same i don't think i've gotten any different ones but you can see what we get there all right yeah there's two minis mini uh holders or pocket pages and then the however many of those there were i forget Anyways, okay, so I'm going to wrap this up real quick so you got to see what that looks like. And we will get going. BRB? Okay, so here we are. So I wanted to show you something, another thing <laughs> real quick. So in the regular, regular hobby box? Yeah, the regular hobby box. I didn't realize this. So in the jumbo hobby, I got this Carlos Correa. Oh, the jumbo. And then this Carlos Correa out of the regular hobby box. So I guess I'm pulling him. And also out of the regular hobby box, there's his short print card. <laughs> you can see the, the code on the bottom there. 
1967 is the code on that one. Anyways, just thought that was interesting. I, I didn't even realize I pulled him out of both of the both of the boxes. <laughs> Alright, so this is basically just the one jumbo box that I opened and it worked out pretty well. We did get we found that you do get a whole set of baseball cards out of it. So these are the doubles right here. These are all the doubles I got right there. So, and then this is the whole set right here. So, awesome. Awesome. All right. So we'll be working from this pile first. I'm going to, I already have it. Oops, that's the wrong pile. 200, 100. Oh, I got them backwards. This is the number one. Acuna. All right. So, right, this will be next. Jeez. Got them all backwards. All right, here we go. So, work off of this pile first. And here we go. So, have them flipped. So, I can see the numbers and everything. So, your mileage may, may vary on how you do it. I just did it this way because it's easier for the to see the numbers that I was working with. Let's see here. All right. On the bottom. Okay. Yeah. Hope everybody's having a good weekend, Zufa. I know it's a busy weekend for me since it's a three-day weekend and all. And have the, have the, uh, have the, uh, Big giveaway tomorrow. Big giveaway. Giving away seven items. Five baseball and two football. In case you missed it. If you're wondering when it is, go ahead and check out the video. The giveaway video. I'm not doing an update, update or anything this time. I figured the particulars were laid out pretty well in the video. And so... Because I saw like a handful of folks didn't like choose a prize or, and I saw somebody inadvertently pick two prizes or something. So, um, I don't know if you want to go back. I don't even know if you watched this video. Go back and check to see if you did or not. If you got a heart, that means you're in. But if not, if you don't have a heart on your entry comment, then... That means you didn't either, because I saw a few people that didn't didn't choose a prize, and like I said, one person chose two prizes, which you have to choose one. So I don't know. I'm not gonna. There was a lot of entries, so can't you know can't maintain whatever that means. I really like these stadium cards. Can't wait to see them in Chrome. Those stadium cards, awesome. Really cool addition to the set this year. I give them that. And the design, it's like, <clears throat> like others have said, it is similar to the 82 design, the way it's baked on the side there, the whatever, strip design. Hope you can hear me because I'm a little away from the where the microphone is. If not, then <laughs> I don't know what. Then it's going to be a silent something. Just hope you can hear me correctly. Oh, there's another stadium card. There's a regular Carlos Correa card. <laughs> so he was number 32 in the in the set. Binder time. 2019 Series 1. Bindering. It was pretty cool that you do get a whole set in the jumbo box. Didn't really realize that. So that's that's a nice plus. So But I like trying all the different products and stuff and trying to get as many inserts as I can. Because I don't it's not really worth purchasing them. Because you know shipping and everything and i don't know just kind of useless i like to you know just do the chase and try to 
collect as many as I can. And whatever I don't don't end up getting, oh well, whatever. Maybe down the line, Fairfield boxes will yield some <laughs> some uh, you know inserts that I can add to my collection because you know they're always like a year or two years behind or whatever. So maybe next year's Fairfield will have them. Oops, I got these backwards. Yeah. There we go. It was like that. Flipping them a certain way so they're all uniform. <laughs> or you like flip them over and put them in there. <sighs> Alright, we're right on. Right on. Number 45 for the number 9 slot. Pivota. Alright. Yeah, I might end up having to pause and move forward quite a bit like I did last time so I can fit the whole project in on tape or yeah on film I don't want to go over the whatever 28 minute threshold because I don't know what it is when you splice it together it takes a very long time to upload for some reason I guess the splicing even though it's like so you had 10 minutes and usually to upload say 10 minutes of video it would take like a half hour for that 10 minutes of video when you put it like behind like add it to a video like on the back of a video for some reason it adds i don't know an hour say an hour to an hour and a half instead of that half hour it's ridiculous it's just weird really weird all right yeah, I'm not going to worry about the inserts or anything like that this time like I did with the with the chrome. It was easier with the chrome because it's not as many cards. It's only the set is like, what is it, 100 cards in the chrome set or something, something like that? 100, 200, I don't know. But this is, what, 330? <laughs> Let's see, what is it? 299. Oh. One ninety nine. Oh well. Sixty four. Okay. Here we go. All right. Three fifty. Jeez, I was off. <laughs> well, the, the the last fifty cars were stuck over there where the inserts were, and I was starting to panic. I was like, "Oh no, where'd I put the mat? Holy moly!" More lost cards. Call the Coast Guard. Call security. Hey, security, how'd you get in here? All right. Brave Stadium card. Right. Cool. Yeah, I hope I have enough sleeves. Or enough of these. Yeah, sleeves. So I just grabbed the rest that were in that box. So hopefully there's hopefully there's enough here. If not, I will be having to open up the other pack box. Pack box. But me. Or may not be enough. I don't know. We will see. Oh. Ah, oh, nice and peaceful. Nice Saturday afternoon. Put my binder together. After this, it's going to be honeydew list time. <laughs> yeah, it's clean house weekend, so it's going to be clean the house after I get done playing with my playing with my cards and stuff, <laughs> dishes and laundry, 
clean, clean, clean bathrooms. Oh, I always dread that. Never liked clean bathrooms. Who does? Who likes clean bathrooms? Reminds me of back when I was in the army. Always had to clean the bathroom. Clean, clean, clean. Keep stuff clean. Oops. Trying to be careful so I don't nick any corners and stuff. Don't want to get them caught on the on the paper. That's why I'm like kind of lifting up a little bit so that they don't, you know, so that the corner doesn't catch or anything. Got to keep them in good shape so I make it into the, into the <coughs> holster correctly. All right. There and protected. All right. Have any plans this weekend? Was it President's Day weekend? I'm off Monday, so a nice, good three day weekend. Nice three day weekend to relax and get stuff organized. Maybe make a couple videos like giveaway result video and maybe I'll open up a box of something Monday or something but who knows move this out of the way seems like I'm trying to avoid that whenever I put the ones up top in there <laughs> all right yeah Nice time, good time to work on cars. It's supposed to snow too. I don't know where you're at. It's supposed to snow here in Pennsylvania. Uh, I don't know. I guess Sunday night they're calling for snow. So it's not not too bad, I guess. But. Since we're off Monday, so we won't have to worry about going to going to work or anything, stuff like that. It doesn't really matter if they're in order. I did a couple pages out of order because I accidentally had the had the cards sitting like this, so I was feeding them in from the, you know, because I have them, the lowest is on the bottom, while I was doing from the highest to the lowest. So <laughs> there's a couple pages back there that I kind of messed up, but. It's going to be a whole set anyways. It doesn't matter. I mean, it's still in order, except for like two pages. But those two pages have the, you know, in order. They're just backwards order. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Houston and Boston. Baston. Pretty much halfway there, or over halfway there. Yeah, all right. All right, all right. Little 
baseball card session here. Probably cut it off at 28 minutes, maybe. Yeah, going to be definitely an interesting season this year. The Phillies uh, picked up a whole bunch of, surprisingly picked up a whole bunch of guys. Plus, they still might pick up a major player or two. Hopefully, they'll get some pitching because I don't know. It seemed like their pitching started to falter at the like second half of last year. and So, I don't know about that. Need a solid pitching. I know they have a number one and maybe a number two in Arietta, but Arietta didn't do as well as as well as he could have. Don't know what was up with with that, but hopefully it'll do better this year. Hopefully they'll all do better. Reese will have his breakout year. Like he did the uh, two years ago, we hit whatever a <laughs> hundred home runs in fifty games. No, I'm just kidding. What was it? Twenty home runs in fifty games, something like that. He was tearing it up when he was brought up for the whole fifty, fifty or whatever games the two years ago. <laughs> then we got real Muto. Behind the plate now from the Marlins. Oh, sorry about that. Gene Segura, a solid anchor in the infield. Be awesome to see how he does as well. That they picked him up. And Andrew McCutcheon in the outfield. That was a really real surprise. I really like that guy. Uh, the McCutcheon been following him for a while as well because you know he's on the Pirates. That's like always pulled for. You know, my home teams and stuff. Even though I'm a Phillies fan, there's no bad blood between, you know, for me anyways, Pirates and Phillies and stuff like that. There used to be, maybe, back when they were in the same division, but ever since they moved out, I don't know. I root for them because a lot of people I know are Pirates fans. You're either Pirate or Phillies or Orioles. Oh, I'm sorry, guys, if you're an Orioles fan. Oh, there's Otani. If you're an Orioles fan, I'm sorry about that. Yeah, so I hear Otani's going to be, what, designated to DH this year instead of pitch. Or whatnot, I guess. Is that what I heard? Did I hear that correctly? Gee, I wonder what numbers he'll put up if, uh, yeah, if he concentrates on hitting and doesn't. You know, because that had to be very difficult pitching and, you know, hitting on his days off or whatnot. Days off from pitching, that is. It's like, man, talk about war workhorse. No wonder he was injured from, man, he was worked, worked a lot. That's what happens. They get injured because they work too much. So I wonder, did did Dallas Keuchel sign with anybody yet? Did did he go to a team yet? Did he sign with anybody yet? I haven't even looked to see. Because I knew there was a rumor that the Phillies were trying to get him. That would be awesome. So they, they do need some more pitching. Look at that. Almost there. That's all we have to go. Just that much right there. All right. All right. Here he is. <laughs> so see that in 2017. So he was uh, exactly 50 games, 44 hits, 18 home runs, and 48 RBIs in only 50 games. Yeah. Uh, 37 walks as well. <laughs> wow. That was pretty pretty good 50-game run. Really good run. <laughs> Oh man, I hope I have enough pages.
just, uh, it's gonna be close. Could be interesting in St. Louis. I'm even curious to see how Mr. Goldschmidt does in a bigger market. Cause of course, St. Louis is a just a little bit bigger market than Arizona is. Yeah, there weren't going to be enough sleeve pages, so I went ahead and got three more out of the box. Opened up another box and added to this so so you know <laughs> magic yeah i know i really should look into going live with this it's the ultimate the ultimate goal of this series is to go live every two weeks with it but I don't know, I just, self-conscious, I guess, because I can't just hit the pause button whenever I want to take a drink or something, because, you know, my, <clears throat> always so dry down here, down in the cave, and so it'll be constant, like, drink breaks every couple minutes, <laughs> not break, but, you know, me taking a drink, <laughs> Okay, I believe we're gonna do it, guys. I even, I guess I have an extra one. <laughs> Always better to have too many, too much, or too many than not enough. Look at that, exactly. 350 fits exactly. There's 350. Marcus. Right there. Boom. The binder is complete. And then extra page. All right. So here we go. There it is. 2019 Series 1. Complete set of Series 1. From 1 to 350. Not a master set, though. I don't have all the inserts. We'll see how many inserts I get. It's pretty tough because there's there are so many inserts and stuff. So many inserts. Yeah. All right, I don't want to do this too much longer. So I don't want the cut off and stuff like that. Well, anyways, feel free to tap the like, share, and or subscribe button. Leave a comment if you'd like. And I will see you later as soon as I'm done turning these pages. Oh, there we go. All right. See you later.